Hey guys, it's Awana Turtle, and today we are opening some more Ravnica Allegiance. Uh, big surprise, and uh, in the last Mail Day video, we did talk about some of the standard showdown packs that I've managed to obtain. And so we're going to be cracking into one of those as well. So, Ravnica Allegiance has been pretty good to us so far. Um, the last video, actually, go check it out. There was a card that I was very interested in pulling, and lo and behold, I was like... Uh, the mythic one of the first mythics that we were that we got in that video was that card So definitely go check that out. And so for our first pack we have a windstorm drake clan guild mage wilderness reclamation On top all yeah, Actually, that card seems pretty good being in the end step on top all well the fact that it's green. I'm not sure how uh, Why will this end raise forerunners for eight Wow 7-7 seven, seven, Vigilance Trample Haste enters the battlefield. Other creatures you control get plus two plus two Vigilance and Trample to end your turn. It's almost like um, ah, there's a Crater Hoof. It's almost like a Crater Hoof. We do got a Clear of the Mind Foil Common. So I guess there's a Boar weaker version of the Crater Hoof. I think the Crater Hoof was 5-5 five, five, but it's like plus X plus X. Rex is number creatures, so I enjoy seeing that in like an elves deck. Where you kind of just, um, I can't remember what the card is, but you kind of just um, tutor into that to put on the field and then run overrun the opponent. Alright, the devil, nice, good pull. A very versatile piece of removal. I feel like the planeswalker part is, it's kind of like. You know who knows if you're going to be facing planeswalkers but it feels like it's a very um, efficient way to deal with them okay we got and plus it's instant speed as well dispose and deploy sky tether azorius sky guard and a gruel spell breaker all right not too bad uh riots trample it's a 3-3 three, three for 3, as long as this it's your turn, it has hex proof. Alright, Bell Hunt. Bankrupt in Blood, Creepy Art, Collision in Colossus. And Verity Circle. Whenever creature opponent controls becomes tapped, if it isn't being declared as an attacker, you may draw a card. And then tap target creature without flying for five. Okay. Hmm. That's an interesting card. For things where I don't know, you have like a lot of like mana dorks, things that creatures that produce mana or something, I could see that being annoying, but Feels a little too situational. Interesting card though, nonetheless. All right, Sphinx. Incubation and incongruity. Cry of Carnarium. And Simic Ascendancy. Simic Ascendancy. Nothing special. All right, Impassioned Orator. So, as a filming of this, the Super Bowl is over. It was quite boring, but the Patriots have won again. And I actually am from the Boston area, so very. Uh, I want to see if I can go to the parade, which would be awesome. Kaya's Wrath. Destroy all creatures you gain life equal to the number of creatures you destroyed for four, which is two white, two black. I feel like if they added an effect that also that you gain, like how a lot of the uh, black cards work is like you gain life and they, your opponent loses life. If they added that small little thing where you also deal damage to a number of creatures that were destroyed and you gain that amount of life, I feel like that would be a cool. Rectos Firewheeler, Cavaclade of Calamity. Knight of Last Breath and Guardian Project. 
Whenever not token creatures enter the battle under control, it doesn't have the same name as another creature you control. Card in your graveyard, draw a card. Interesting. All right. It's the first one of these I've ever opened, given that I don't really go to, I don't really compete. And let's break into it. Seems like these cards, these things, I like the idea of them. I'm not sure if they're really worth the amount of money that they cost, but you do get kind of like a foil land, uh, a couple rares, a couple like foil, a um, couple foil cards as well. However, they're kind of like all over the standard format, and obviously, since it's Guilds of Ravnica, there won't be any uh, Ravnica Legions. So we have a Dominari card, the Minari. Mirari Conjecture. Ooh, Divine Visitation. I think this is the third one. All right, so this is this pack is worth it. So we got Divine Visitation, a card that we're very familiar with on this channel. Pulled a number of them. We got a Foil Mountain, which is pretty cool. And then a Curious Obsession. All right, so Mythic Pull, very happy with that. Yeah, um, I do have two more of those, and if they continue to be as strong as that one, maybe that's something that we'll continue to uh, buy more of to open on the channel. All right, so to continue going back to Ravnica Allegiance, we got a Sunder Shaman, Gateway Sneak, Spirit of the Spires, and then we got Emergency Powers. Actually not familiar with this one, but the fact that it costs seven is not a good start. Instant speed. Each player shuffles their hand and graveyard into the library, then draw seven cards, exile the card. All right, so essentially, it's kind of like a, almost like a reset. Um, if you cast a spell during your main phase, you may put a permanent card with converted mana cost seven or less onto the battlefield. Uh, I just, I think no. I mean, it basically takes your your turn. Doesn't help you with your board state. So while it's a reset, it's a reset for your opponent too. So the fact that maybe you can um, you can put down a permanent that costs seven uh, doesn't feel like that's enough to make it worthwhile. All right, so we do have a Tesa. Ooh, not a good card, but I do like that foil. All right, so we have three packs left or so. All right, Goblin, a Boar, Terramander, nice. And, ooh, Angel of Grace. Okay, this is a much better Mythic. All right, so that means this box, so far we, we only opened, uh, so this is be the second 12, and we already have four Mythics. So we got Angel Grace, 4-5, five, 5-4 five, Flying Flash, which is awesome. Angel Grace enters the battlefield until under turn damage that would do to your life points. Uh, less than one reduces to one instead, so you can't die. And Exile Grace from your graveyard, their life toll becomes 10. Pretty versatile card, in my opinion. Um, I feel most likely it's uh, kind of just used for the fact that you can't die, and then just plop down a 5 4 flyer to maybe go for the win on your next turn. So, pretty cool card. I imagine if it's, it's a card that if you know your opponent has, it's kind of annoying to play around. Senate Guild Mage, Angelic Exaltation, Scrambling Claws, and Awaken the Erstwhile. Nothing special. All right, last pack. Let's do it. Overall, pretty good opening. Um, did hit uh, two good cards. No shock lands though. Kind of disappointing. All right, galloping Lizrog, Forbidden Spirit, Colt Kill Mage, and then Lavinia. Lavinia of doesn't matter. All right, so just to go through our standard showdown, we did get a Divine Visitation and a Foil Mountain and a Nothing Rare. And then as far as good cards, we got a, probably a Bulk Mythic to be honest. A Bedevil, very useful card. And Angel Grace, which is our big hit. And a couple, couple other cards that are not too relevant. 
All right, with that, that's it for today. Um, thanks for watching. If you did think, if you think we got pretty good pulls, I appreciate if you drop a like on the video. Um, hit subscribe for future content, and we'll be continuing more Ravnica Legions next time. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.